Hello everybody, it's me, Budridge. I have a video, new Mondo, better, faster, smarter. Yeah, uh, because um, I want to show you my script here, Mondo, a, a, a script, a program, a thing I, I made a while ago. I have made several videos about it on, on the uh, channel. But the thing is, uh, well, now the issue is closed. Maybe we can see it. Uh, one closed there. Um, I thought that almost no one used this Mondo, but I, I have been using it myself a lot and I have been uh, upgrading it and updating it, using it myself in the background like this and haven't announced the, the new updates in, in any um, big way, so to speak. And uh, a couple of days ago, or yesterday, uh, a guy here, Flores02, uh, uh, informed me that he tried to, to follow the video tutorials about this Mondo thing. And uh, it didn't really work. Uh, what I showed in the video with the with Mondo that, that was available here on GitHub. And that is because I have made some, some big... Uh, upgrades to it. I have answered him here and he have actually closed the issue and everything. Uh, everything is settled, uh, but I made some, some small... or actually quite... Uh, I made a complete rewrite of the whole Mondo and removed X resources as a, a dependency of it. So it have changed... Uh, so, some things are, are different now in the new version and I thought let's make a new video and uh, replace all the, other, the old videos with this new one instead. So... Uh, <clears throat> uh, to not confuse people in the future. So, um, short, what is Mondo? It's a template manager and generator for, uh, so you can generate uh, themes and, and stuff uh, for, for many different programs. Let me, let me give you a short demo of it here. Um, if I do Mondo, dash l themes that will list all themes that i currently have uh, on my system here now and then you can do m mondo dash a that stands for apply so i can apply a, a theme here if i want to apply for example uh, the nikes theme here i just write mondo dash a and then nikes and as you can see, now it changed uh, the theme here, it changed the colors in my terminal, in uh, uh, the GTK here, uh, Polybar, i3, all of these are different files. Uh, and also, uh, well, now I have this, um, uh, our, our demo Sublime here, but I can also change the Sublime theme and stuff with, with this Mondo thing. Uh, what is this? Uh, close that guy. Um, you can basically make it uh, change uh, the appearance of, of many different uh, programs and just uh, having a single theme file. So, and the, the theme files and settings for Mondo is stored inside your .config uh, Mondo is a directory uh, that contains the themes here, for example. We can open the Nikes theme here in Sublime and look at it. Th this is how the whole theme file looks like. It's nothing more than this. Then there are some special files. The default and the template file here are special. And, you, and these files are special. And then you also have these generators, which contains uh, the different templates for different programs. For example, Polybar, we can see the template for that looks like this. And this is the, the Mondo variables, how to use them. So I will, in this video, try to uh, show you all, all the important features of, of Mondo. <coughs> and to do so, we will, uh, I will just rename this uh, Mondo directory here. Uh, let's call it uh, Bay. <laughs> I was supposed to write backup, but I just, but whatever. And now, if I do mondo l themes, uh, it will just uh, we will get an error that it cannot find the mondo themes directory because what mondo uh, l themes does is uh, just ls the themes directory in the mondo folder here. Because <coughs> now we don't have a mondo folder, we have this mondo bay and mondo, these are other other ones I have been trying out. 
Another cool thing that I added to the latest release, I'm gonna add that to this uh, readme here and I'm also gonna add, uh, update this with a new release as soon as I have recorded this video because I found a bug in the uh, in the Mondo program, so I want to update it. But it's now also available in AUR, but that isn't... <laughs> I, I haven't added the, any installation uh, notes here to the readme, but you can actually find it. Uh, uh, I use pack AUR uh, to, to install AUR packages and then capital S, lowercase less S, and then you can search for Mondo Generator. I had to name it Mondo Generator because there were already a program called Mondo. And I just didn't want to change my name, whatever. So Mondo Generator is uh, is the name of the package in AUR. And you can install it with just um, by doing this. Maybe you use a different uh, AUR helper or something else. And that will install Mondo. And it's just one uh, bash file and uh, bash script file and... Um, uh, man page so <laughs> the whole package uh, is when installed is uh, 30 kilobytes here so so it's uh, you can't accuse me for for uh, bloating your system with this if you don't use arc or don't want to use aur or whatever you can just uh, clone this repo and it's just this single uh, shell file here called mondo uh, uh, shell script file this is the whole uh, program and all you need basically but when you install it with AUR it will also move the the man page to the correct folder and stuff like that so so we can do man mondo here for example to get this beautiful uh, mondo manual and that manual is the same as this readme file here and it's also the same uh, as uh, mondo dash h gives you the same uh, information and everything you need should be available or, or should be in this uh, documentation here <coughs> but I will show you the basics uh, in this video anyways um, the first thing you should do when when you have installed Mondo is uh, Mondo dash n for a new theme and then the name of a theme you can name it anything here so anything yeah, let's name it anything. If you do this, watch here now, it will create a, a Mondo directory here for us now, if, if it doesn't exist. There, it created this Mondo deer here, and we have some files and uh, a themes directory, and inside this we have our new anything theme. Uh, we could do uh, another theme, we can call it another. There, it creates, now we have two theme files here. Now we can also do mondo-l themes and it will list the two themes that we have here. <coughs> uh, let's do this. Let's open our Sublime and uh, we can actually create a project for this. Uh, close this project and then we can add uh, this mondo directory here. Uh, this is how the themes looks uh, when you create them. Uh, comments uh, are uh, lines prefixed with an exclamation mark. D don't need to be two exclamation marks, it's just for aesthetics. <laughs> and then it says the name of the theme, the author of the theme, and the date the theme was created. And it have uh, these pre-filled-in variables here. And, and this part is just a copy of what you have here in this template file. This, this file is just uh, so you can, uh, yeah, you can create a template here for how you want all new themes to look like. like yeah, it's a template for themes. All, you also have this default file, which contains uh, more variables that are not uh, visible in, in the theme files. Uh, and that means this default file, uh, or the theme files uh, that you create, will merge uh, into this default file. So here you can set uh, uh, variables that you want to, to be global, so to speak, for every theme. For example, fonts. Maybe you want the same font in every theme, just different colors or whatever. You can have like global uh, variables here. I also like to set bold colors here and uh, themes and stuff like that. Okay, okay, okay. So let's look at this anything theme here. 
Um, the theme files con uh, consist of variables. It's only variables and maybe comments. And the variable is defined like this. You write the name of the variable. You can call it anything. The old version of, of, of uh, Mondo, it, it was bound to X resources. So there, there were a, a lot of weird rules you had to uh, uh, consider when writing the themes. Now there are no rules. It's uh, anarchy. So you can name the variables whatever you want. And the, the name of the variable will be the first field, so to speak, of, of the line. As soon as it finds a, a white space, then it knows that the rest uh, of the line will be the content of that variable. So here, bg will be equal to, to this. But uh, <clears throat> a variable does, uh, can be anything. It doesn't have to be a color value. Uh, now all of these are color values, but it can also be a, a normal string, and that string can have any characters inside of it. The only thing that I think might break uh, break it is if you have single quotes in, in the value here. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna research that a bit and see if, if, if I can fix that so you can have single quotes, but that should more or less never be needed anyways. Uh, and you can also have another variable uh, as the value. So active bg has the value of cyan. And cyan is defined here. So if uh, a variable is or is defined, then that value will be used. Uh, yeah, here it, it, it's not rocket science, you know. And the white space is not important. You could, it could look like this. It could look like this. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. But line breaks are important. Okay, that's theme files. But you cannot do anything really with just a theme file. Uh, we also need template files. So let's take some example file here. Uh, we can take this Dunst, for example. Here I have a file called, in my Dunst uh, config, I have a file called Dunst theme, which consists of, of, of my, uh, yeah, the colors for Dunst. And we can see if we uh, do this Dunstify, uh, hello. There, this is how my Dunst looks like. And if I would change a color here, uh, normal background, let's just change it to magenta, save this, and then I have a script called danced merge that will apply this theme file to my dance settings. I think I've shown you this in a, a previous video, and this danced merge, I have it also available on Bud Labs as a script. But now we can do danced hello, and now you can see it have the magenta uh, background color. Uh, if, if we want to make a template out of this file here, uh, this dance theme file, we can just do this. Uh, I will copy the file here in my file manager and then do mondo uh, dash t for template. And then you can just paste in uh, or enter uh, the absolute path to a file or a relative path also. Or I think it have to be absolute, whatever. And now I enter the path to this dance theme. Hit enter, and now you can see it created more uh, files and folders here in my Mondo directory. It created a generator directory, and inside that it created a directory called Dance Theme, which is the same name as the file name uh, of, of, of the file we based the template on. We could also, let, let's just take something else here for so, so I can show you. We can take uh, Rofi here, for example. Uh, Rofi have, have, have a have a, a file called global colors here to define the, the colors in my Rofi theme. So if we wanted to, we could create a template for this as well. And then we write done, uh, mondo uh, dash t as in template. But if I would create a template based on this file now, uh, that, uh, that generator would be called global colors. And that can be really confusing since th this is uh, more a, a generator for Rofi. So let's call it, then you can enter a name uh, before you, uh, before the path to the, to the file. So there, now we have Rofi uh, also here. And inside these generator directories, by default, uh, you get four uh, files. Uh, Mondo template, that is just a copy of, of the file that you use to base your, base your template on. And Mondo settings, this is an uh, important file. Uh, uh, here you can define some settings for, for, the, for, for the generator. 
This is in bash format, bash syntax here. Uh, and be careful, uh, don't add any crazy stuff to this file because it will be sourced into Mondo when it reads the settings here and stuff. So try to only uh, do things that you're supposed to do. <laughs> and this variable here is uncommented by default. I will comment this out now uh, first. I will show you what, what it means soon, but let, let, let's do this. We, we comment it out and we do the same with the Rofi uh, settings as well. There. Uh, the other files here, Mondo apply and Mondo generate, you got, got these in each gen generator. These are uh, for now blank uh, script files here. They are also in bash format, but this doesn't have to be in bash format. Mondo apply will be executed every time a theme is applied. For each uh, generator, the, the Mondo apply script in, inside that generator will be applied. So you can add additional options that you want to happen. And Mondo generate is a file that is executed every time a theme is generated. And we, I will soon show you what, what these two uh, verbs mean, apply and generate in, in the Mondo world here. Uh, okay, uh, so now if we would do, we can do mondo-g for generate and then we have to specify which theme we want to generate. And the themes we have is another and anything here. So if we do mondo-g another, there, uh, we could see that it created uh, even more files now. It created a file named another in each of our generators here, both in the Dunst and in the, in, in the Rofi generator here. We have a file called another. Uh, and right now that looks exactly like this uh, Mondo template file. Well, actually it doesn't for some weird reason. Ah, no, 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 it's it's okay, it's okay, I think. Well, it's actually kind of weird that it doesn't look exactly the same. Ah, it's me who is uh, stupid. I had uh, the scroll was down here. No, they, they look exactly the same. So Sorry for that, guys. Um... Let's close a bunch of tabs here also. So that's what's happened when you do G. Uh, but since our template files here are just stupid files right now with, with hard-coded values here, then not the, the generated files will, will just look like it. Uh, but Mondo comes with uh, some, some good commands here. You can list other, other things uh, than uh, just the themes. For example, mondo-l and then vars. Uh, whoops. Ah, that's right, we don't have a, a, a theme. Um, you have to specify which theme you want to, to uh, list here. So mondo-l vars and then we take another. And that will list all the variables available for the another theme here. And here we can see this uh, mondo special mondo syntax here. Double parent uh, percentages, then the name of the variable, then double percentages again. That contains this, uh, and so on. So let's take this, uh, let's take uh, Cyan here, for example. Uh, and this is just for convenience, so it's easy to co copy paste uh, things here. And then we can add this Cyan to uh, the Mondo template here for, for Dunst. And save, um, and then we can also uh, modify the the cyan uh, variable inside our themes here quickly. Uh, we have another, and here we can change cyan to be. Uh, I will just write some random things here. I don't even know how this color looks like, but whatever. This is another cyan, and then we can make one for anything also here, and and do something completely different here. A A C C D D. There. <clears throat> and now if we do mondo generator and then anything. Now it created the anything uh, uh, generated theme ins 
inside the, the generators here. And the only thing, it looks like this. And here we can see this AACCDD instead of... of um, uh, and that is because uh, the value of Scion is replaced here uh, in, in the file. And also note here that I put this uh, inside these quotes. And the quotes will, will be uh, understood in, in, in the generated file here. So it will just replace that exact place where, where you, you write it with the double parenthesis uh, percentages like this. But if we look at the another here, it, it doesn't have the right uh, uh, cyan color here. Another cyan looks like this. And even if we do uh, generate another again here, and look at the theme files, it haven't updated. And uh, I have made it like this on um, purpose. So to update, to, to force an update, you need to use the, the F, uh, F flag. Theme another is already, and here we can see also that it, we get some error messages that it is already generated. So, so if you want to force a generation of a theme, then use the F flag. Now, um, if we look at another here, now it have the, the right uh, color and anything have this color. So this is how it works. You can have different themes that generate different files here. Now let's look at this uh, uh, setting file here with the target variable. If this is not, uh, if this variable exists and the, the value of this target value uh, variable is uh, the path to an existing file, or it doesn't even have to exist, I think. I think it will do this even if it doesn't exist. So target, it should be a path to a file. By default, it's the file that you base the template on. Because that's, uh, uh, I, I have experimented a bit with this and I have, have seen that this is what you do the mo most of the time with, with the generators. If this uh, variable is set, uh, and when you run mondo with the, uh, let's also do this here now, we can go config, then danced, danced theme. So this is how, uh, uh, the, the danced theme file, how it looks like. If this uh, target is set, then it will, when, when you run mondo with mondo apply, because Mondo generate, it only generates files here inside the Mondo folder. It doesn't set any theme or anything, but Mondo apply, that is supposed to be used as uh, to apply the theme, to change the theme in different uh, uh, programs and stuff. And what it will do here, uh, if we do Mondo at a another, then it will take another file here. And if it have a target, then it will copy this file, the generated theme, to the location specified in target and it will overwrite any existing files there. So if we do this here now, mondo a another. Now it also created yet an, uh, uh, another file here and called current inside the themes directory here in mondo. And current is uh, uh, the current theme, all variables available in the theme. And this will change every time you do uh, mondo a, then this current file will change. And this is used, so, so I think, uh, let's see now if it works, mondo dash l uh, get blue. I don't remember if it's like this, right? No, maybe it's mondo get blue. Yeah, this is what the current file is used for. And here you can see uh, it's really fast to get the, uh, 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 get values from, from variables in Mondo by just Mondo get and then the name of a variable and it will print it to standard out. This can be very useful in scripts and stuff. And it will take that value from this current file. <clears throat> Another thing it did now when it applied the theme was copy the file to this dance theme file location. And now we can see it have this another uh, um, color that we had set here as cyan in, in, in the theme file. And if I do dunstify now, hello, we still have the pink background because I need to, to uh, merge and reload dunst here with the dunst merge script. Dunst merge. And now we can do dunst, dunstify hello. 
and now it have the uh, this color and this is how it looks like I, I didn't even know what, what to expect here but this this is uh, this one two three FFA color uh, a beautiful blue color uh, and this is from another if we instead would do mondo uh, a anything here <clears throat> then it will apply that theme instead and, uh, and it will uh, and this time it copies anything to the, the variable specified as target in mondo settings for the dance generator here so now if we do dance dance to hello we still have the blue color there but if we do a dance merge and then danceify hello now we have the the um, anything color applied but as you as you can see every time i apply this dance theme i need to to execute this dance merge uh, command to to have it, uh, to make it uh, yeah to to apply the theme fully and that is where this uh, mondo apply and mondo generate uh, files come in because this mondo apply script file here that is executed after the theme is applied meaning after the file is copied here for example to this uh, dance theme location so here in this uh, file we could add this command dance merge save here uh, and then we do mondo apply uh, another now we can see the execution time is a bit higher now because now it also executed this dance merge but it's still no time at all and now the theme is already applied as soon as a notification pops up it will have the new theme and we can do mondo dash a anything dance defy hello and it have the new theme so so this is how these files looks like and sometimes you want different actions for uh, when you generate and apply a theme Another thing is that you don't need to generate the files. Uh, if the file doesn't exist, uh, isn't generated, so to speak, and you uh, execute the mondo a uh, apply action, then it will first generate any missing theme files if, if it needs to, and then apply the theme. So, so a is, is a combination of both g and uh, uh, generate and apply. And this is basically all, all, all there is to it. Uh, it's very flexible, flexible, you can use it for all kinds of things. Uh, my intention from the start was just to do this, you know, generate different color themes, but you can actually use it for, for more uh, cool things like password, having a password mondo generator or whatever, you know. <clears throat> and uh, also these files inside the, the mondo Mm -mm, root uh, directory here post apply and pre apply these uh, these are also script files uh, bash by default but you could change these as long as they have the right the same name you could write these in in python for example uh, and just change the shebang to a python interpreter and then it it would execute these files and these files are executed uh, pre apply is executed before any theme is applied and post apply is executed after all generators are applied so um, you can have if, if you want to kind of prepare your your desktop i have for example one program uh, vivaldi or, or clavaro to to change the theme in this program i have to close the program before i apply the theme so that's what i uh, then i can put kill all clavaro in in the pre-apply here for example and sometimes you want to do actions uh, after everything is done as well so that's how mondo works and uh, yeah just try it out install it with AUR or clone this repo I can also uh, recommend you to have a look here uh, in the mondo contrib um, repo here on, on the bud labs organization on github this is where I keep my personal Mondo settings here. Let's. Uh, this is my personal uh, Mondo directory with all my my generators and stuff. And some of them are quite advanced, uh, like uh, the GTK theme uh, generator and stuff. It it actually clone and installs another um, uh, package from from GitHub and stuff here to generate. The, so so this generator sends the theme files to another generator to generate and generate it <laughs> you can do all kinds of things um, maybe I should mention that uh, you can add this if, if you want to um, if you want to 
a, a bash array uh, dependencies, it have to be named exactly like this, uh, containing of different commands that you want to be sure are installed or available on, on, on the operating system. If, if, if they aren't, it, it will test here every time it generates a theme, it will test all these commands. And if it, one of them doesn't work, you will get an error message and the uh, generator will, will not uh, mm, execute at all. But it will continue with uh, all other generators. And this checks here for because it needs some some uh, dependencies to generate these GTK themes. It, uh, for instance, it needs uh, in Inkscapes, for instance. So uh, yeah, take a look here at the Mondo Contrib. See how I have set up my my stuff here. And um, here I have a lot of weird weird stuff going on. And I use my I3S things and and stuff like that. And and Sublime is is like a nightmare to to get working with this, but it's possible. Um, but just, I, I, I think you get how this works and it's, it, this is uh, my, my favorite program or script that I have made uh, myself and I, I use this all the time and it have made everything so easy. I never have to bother about different setting files. I on, only change these theme files and it's super fast to, to change theme and, and, and stuff. And with the Mondo L themes that list uh, the available themes, you could also pipe that to a Rofi menu, you know, and, and use that to select different themes and, and whatever. I think we can also see, yeah, here we have this Dunst merge uh, script that merges uh, uh, Dunst themes and layouts into one single <coughs> resource file. So if you want to have a look at that, it's also available here, available here at Bud Labs. So, um, have fun changing colors, changing themes, uh, share any themes. If you, f if, if you have a cool uh, setup, you could uh, fi add it as a pull request to, to the Mondo Contrib. That, that, that's my intention with this repo. We'll, we'll see what happens here. But, and maybe I should uh, rename this Budridge or something. But let's say another user. Um, whatever a user called called whatever then i will create a new folder subfolder here with whatever's uh, generators and themes and stuff and the, yeah it's it's a thought i have or maybe i will add more um, profiles so to speak here uh, that i have made myself but if you want to you can share them here as pull requests on the mondo contrib here and, and i uh, i will merge them and if you find any issues with Mondo itself, file them as issues here on GitHub. It's highly appreciated. I, I, th this is uh, one of my favorite things in life right now is when someone reports an issue or finds a bug in one of my programs. It, it, it makes me very happy and I like it a lot. So please do that if, if, if you find something. Or if you just want to say, hey man, cool stuff, I like this, uh, then you can do so on YouTube uh, is the best place. Because uh, GitHub is not uh, a social um, platform in that sense. Uh, it's all about code code and, and uh, uh, filing issues and, and uh, feature requests and stuff. Just regular chatting is best done on um, other social media platforms, such as YouTube, where I am available. My name is Budrich, I say thank you for watching, have a great day, bye bye.